Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we're going to talk about how YouTube seems to be eating streamers' lunches. Like, hmm, isn't that interesting? It's not surprising. I don't know why you know, people are surprised by this. But we're going to look at a lot of the streaming services. And, and this article is talking about was what we said was going to happen from the beginning. It's Highlandering itself because they're all like starting to merge each other now because there's too many of them. And it's not working. Yeah, Hollywood is uh, is is definitely on the decline here, guys. We've got declining box office, declining streaming revenue, and uh, more and more studios actually seem to be jumping ship to uh, free options. They're they're mm -hmm. putting their their movies on YouTube, which I've seen more and more studio films on YouTube. Free with ads. Studios seem to be going back to selling off their content to like Tubi or Netflix or things like that and licensing it out. Disney has made a deal with Netflix not that long ago for um, Grey's Anatomy and stuff like that. So they're all going back to Netflix is where they make content for in the first place. Yeah, so it's all coming full circle here. So this is this is going to be very interesting. It's not going to get much better. And it's, it's funny because, you know, they had the strikes and, and all these, uh, you know, creators, writers, actors uh, thought that they were getting a really good deal. But I'm like, there's going to be a lot less content. Mm -hmm. There, there are going to be a lot less streaming services. And they're talking about, you know, some of them consolidating now or, or selling themselves off in a bundle. It's basically just cable TV all over again. But uh, YouTube seems to be coming out on top. So just wait, they're, they're, they're going to notice us. They're going to come over here and they're going to try to, you know, take it over again. On YouTube, they've been trying. They've to been trying. They've been I mean, trying to... they've been trying and trying. But, you know, the, the problem with that is they don't like the transparency that YouTube has because, you know, they we know it was Disney. They were behind getting the downvotes removed. Audiences don't like them because no. if they like them, they'd be watching their stuff now. Yes. But let's be honest. They want they want real people. They want real content. They want to watch, you know, people doing pranks or Mr. Beast like doing things to help people or, you know, our hot takes. They don't want or gaming videos or things like that. They don't want to watch their stuff or they'd be subscribing and watching their stuff. Plus, you know, even even the free stuff because their stuff costs money. Yeah. So let's talk about that. I think especially with the uh, the economy being the way it is, more and more people are going to go for free options. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there are going to be fewer and fewer of those. Before you get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. You guys get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com. Uh, check out previously on Clownfish TV and also Crimson Wren Volume 1. Uh, they're both available right now. They've been shipping out daily. Uh, Geeky's been shipping a lot. Can't mail any more on Tuesday because of the holiday. But yeah. I have a, a pile ready to go. So if you order between now and Tuesday, they'll go out Tuesday. Pesky holidays, pesky Christmas, pesky New, New Year's. Year. I don't know if I should be happy or terrified, but I don't know. I've got I I don't have a real I'm I'm going to be Debbie Downer. I don't have a real good feeling about next year. I think because it's an election year, I think things are going to get really crazy. It's going to get weird. It's going to get weird, guys. Uh, it's going to get weird. You're going to see a lot of weird stuff. And what I worry about with all these people, you know, pushing into YouTube is what we saw before where there was more censorship and they were manipulating the algorithm to get, uh, you know, Jimmy Kimmel and, uh, you know, all the SNL skits and stuff to the top. I don't of the, think it worked. I don't think it worked very well either. I mean, you, cause you can see the numbers. I'll be the next thing. Oh, we're going to hide the numbers. We're going to hide the numbers on YouTube, you know, because it just makes people feel bad. It's like, no, it makes these studios feel stupid when they, pour a bunch of money into something and they get uh, some you know, YouTuber kicks their ass. Some YouTuber working out of his basement kicks their ass. You know, that's, but people want to see the use in YouTube. Um, so yeah, they're talking about how Netflix was uh, clearly the winner. Here. Yeah. So first they start talking about how they're going to all start merging and things like that yes. because they're like, they're going to have to, because it's not sustainable. We already saw, what was it? Paramount plus and, mm -hmm. um, who are they merging with? Uh, it's Paramount and HBO max. Okay. Yeah. They're starting to merge Warner different brothers. Yeah. They're starting to merge different platforms because they they aren't sustainable well discovery merged with warner before that too there's too many so you're talking about that but then you come down here and what's interesting is they're talking about the segments and they're, this is the revenue versus expenses and profit and you can see netflix has more revenue now they have a lot of expenses but their profit is in is above the line everybody else is <laughs> they're in the hole yes they're in the hole now warner brothers is, is flat um, but Disney did now to be fair with the Disney, they've said since the beginning, it was going to take them a while to be profitable. It wouldn't be profitable 2024, but at the end of this year, if it's still showing that way, then they got some explaining to do. They are just kicking the can down the road is what they're doing. I think it's like, 
I think Iger was even like with uh, Disney Plus. It's kind of like, oh yeah, it's it's not going to be profitable for like five years. I'll and be I'm, gone. I'll be I'll be gone. I'll be <laughs> out of here by then. Somebody else's problem. Somebody oh, else's problem. Wait. Yep. So yeah, you can see from this that um, that yeah, the expenses are there for. Netflix, but they're making a profit. Disney has almost the same amount of expenses, but no profit. I mean, this is just a losing proposition. A lot of people were talking about how they're just dumping money into streaming and they're not getting a return on it. They were doing better when they were actually making content and selling it off to other services. I mean, yeah. Disney and Warner Brothers and those, they were going, because Netflix is dominating. It's going to continue to dominate. Now, Disney, that would contain, that would be Hulu and Disney Plus and ESPN. Yes. Yes. Um, but they're, they're, they're continuing, they're, they're, they're not doing the way they, as well as they thought they were going to do. And Netflix is still kicking ass. Because if you go down, you already talk about consolidating. Mm-hmm. You already talk about Paramount, Warner Brothers, and Discovery, and Comcast. And they're all, like, you know, merging and consolidating different different ways and buying this and buying that. But when you come down here, you can see why. Shares of the U.S. streaming viewing time. This is U.S. only. Um, you can see Netflix is big, but YouTube is the biggest by far. YouTube is bigger than Netflix. Yeah, most months YouTube beat Netflix. They beat Netflix every month. Yeah. And they Oh yeah, beat, even by yeah. like 1% here. Yeah. yeah. YouTube beat Netflix every month, but then Netflix is is very close second. And the next closest one is Hulu, which Hulu and Netflix are kind of the big ones, and it's way way behind that. And then from there you get Amazon Prime Video. And then you go into Disney and Max and Peacock and the other ones. And then uh, and, uh, other you know, but the other is beating Hulu. The the undisclosed other. The other the other would be yeah. A lot of the other uh, I don't know what that would be. A lot of free stuff probably just random like uh, anime of different streamers. TV and... brands have their own channels and stuff like yeah, that. But yeah, but yeah. So your other is still kicking Hulu's ass. So it's going Netflix, YouTube, and then other before it even gets to Hulu, Amazon. Disney, Disney and Max and Peacock and them don't even have a wide enough thing to mark what, how much percentage it is. Well, the thing with, with Hulu is people, the reason it is what it is, is people are probably doing what we did, which is we kept the, the cord. That's with what Hulu, we did. Yeah. You know, several years ago. Before and Disney bought it and kept yeah, driving the price up every year. Before Disney bought it, it was like 35 bucks and we had our TV. Now but, it's like what? 90. Yeah. But YouTube is, is getting really aggressive with TV and they want to add TV to well, they already did add TV, live TV to YouTube, but they want it to be like a one stop. They're adding podcasts, they're adding all this stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's probably going to they're, eat they're into winning. That. They are. They they're are. winning, but they no, it's not it's close with Netflix, but they're winning and Netflix is a close second. The other ones are way far away. Even if you combine Disney's and Hulu with their whatever Disney number would be, it's under 8% clearly, so I'm guessing it's about 6 by the looks of it. That's like 15%. It's still way behind everybody else with both of them together. Yeah. Other might be like ESPN and stuff too. I don't know. But like it rolled in with a bunch of different things. They're saying even if Warner Brothers and uh, Paramount would merge, they would not have enough firepower to take on Netflix. Nobody has enough firepower. Disney kept saying they were going to take on Netflix. Disney's nowhere near it. So here's, like you said, they were better off when they were just content producers. I think they need to stay in their lane. I think Netflix already perfected the, the vehicle. It's like you're trying to compete with Walmart. At this point, like just sell your product in Walmart. You're better off. You're going to make more money and you don't have the overhead. Let Walmart be Walmart and you just make stuff to sell in Walmart. And that's basically what right. they need I to mean, be doing. Until they all, everybody and their brother decided they were doing streaming services. It was basically Netflix and then Hulu. Yeah. And then, and YouTube, obviously wow. in there. But we've done, we've done videos before talking about how the top shows that everybody's watching the most of were YouTube shows. Yeah. You know, I mean, they've got a problem here. Yeah, but that's so funny. Like Hollywood looks down their nose at, at YouTubers. No, they're trying, and then, but until they try to get into it, like you said, they're trying to de- take a cut of that, and it wasn't working because people are going to YouTube because they don't want to watch you. They don't want to watch you, Jimmy Kimmel. That's why they're on YouTube. Yep, yep. So this is this is gonna be really interesting. Twenty twenty four is gonna be batshit crazy. I think because of this, I think we're gonna see. I hate to say it, but I think we're gonna see YouTube get stupider. I think that they're going to start because they're going to have pressure from because, you know, a lot of these people are also advertisers on YouTube. And again, Disney uh, got the basically got the uh, uh, downvotes taken away because people are making fun of Kathleen Kennedy. They had uh, numbers hidden. If you want to hide your your numbers, 
Um, oh yeah, that was holding because she was everybody was downvoting her, ratioing yeah. her ass. And yeah. All of a sudden, oh, we can't show down votes. Yeah, because how many millions of dollars a year was it was Disney spending on YouTube? Well, Disney was behind the apocalypse. They were one yes. of the ones behind the apocalypse. Oh, the, our own person on our own platform caused this problem, but we're gonna pull funding until you fix it. And then you know, by the way, uh, should we give us a lower ad rate too? That'd well, be nice. they're trying that crap now. They're doing it with uh, Twitter mm-hmm. now. They're or X. You know, they're trying. They're trying to withhold. Like we're Disney. We're gonna. We're gonna take our Mickey Mouse balls and go home. And it's like, oh, go fuck yourself. Bob. And he's like, you're trying to blackmail me for money. It's like you're trying to blackmail me. Like for I, money. I, it's just like, are you serious? Like I got more money than Scrooge McDuck. You dumb fuck. Like what the hell are you doing? You know. Uh, yeah. So it's just like. It's it's gonna be really interesting, guys. Uh, very very interesting, and I hope that uh, YouTube doesn't doesn't get stupid or make stupid decisions that hurts their uh, smaller creators. You know, trying to chase after you know Hollywood and TV deals and all that that stuff. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Well, that, well, if you're a YouTube creator and you didn't toe the line with the union, it doesn't matter. You can't do Hollywood stuff because oh, you can't right. join the union because they have a list. That's right. And I'm sure we're at the top of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let's uh, let's wrap this one up. Huh? Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.